Wolverhampton Wanderers have been issued an apology after a decision not to award a penalty during their 1-0 defeat to Manchester United, according to manager Gary O'Neill. Andre Onana slammed into Sasa Kalajcic in stoppage time at Old Trafford, but on-field referee Simon Hooper did not award a penalty. VR Michael Salisbury checked and cleared the incident after deciding it was not a clear and obvious error, but O'Neill claimed afterward that Select Group 1 manager of the PGMOL Jonathan Moss admitted it was a mistake. I was told live that they didn't think that it was a clear and obvious error, O'Neill said. But having spoken to Jonathan Moss, and fair play to him for coming straight out, he has apologized and said it was a blatant penalty that should have been given. I feel bad because he has come out honestly. I spent the afternoon with him, trying to understand the new guidelines and trying not to get myself booked with the new guidelines, which I failed to do. Fair play to John saying it was a clear and obvious error. He can't believe the on-field referee didn't give it and VR didn't intervene. That probably makes me feel even worse. Once you know you're right, you feel worse leaving with nothing. Wolves were unlucky to come away with no result from the game after having 23 shots against United, including 6 on target. O'Neill said he felt Onana could have taken our striker's head off with the challenge, but United boss Eric Ten Hag disagreed. When VR looked at it and decided not to give it, of course we are pleased with it, Ten Hag said. I don't feel I have to react on his, O'Neill's, interpretation. It's about the referee and the VR. I think the two players from Wolves come together and Andre didn't interfere with the action from both of them. First is the touch of the ball and then came Andre. Rafael Verani scored the only goal in the Premier League opener for both teams that gave Ten Hag's side all three points to start their season. Wolves' shot total was the second most against United at Old Trafford since data was first collected 20 years ago which O'Neill said was testament to his side's confidence to attack. In the end we can't just focus on that, penalty, decision, O'Neill said. To come to Old Trafford and have the most shots of any side since 2005 and dominate after just four days of work, in training, is exceptional. The lads deserved more tonight. Manchester United defender Rafael Verani scored a late winner as the hosts survived several scares to claim a 1-0 Premier League win over Wolverhampton Wanderers on Monday in a performance that largely lacked cohesion and attacking threat. Verani's header after 76 minutes earned United a scarcely deserved three points as he was picked out in the six-yard box by Aaron Wan-Bissaka's dinked cross, much to the relief of a nervous home crowd and exasperated manager Eric Ten Hag. Wolves had been painted as a club in disarray over the last week after a fire sale of top talent and the abrupt exit of Spanish manager Julen Lopetegui, who was replaced five days ago by former Bournemouth boss Gary O'Neill. But it was the visitors who created the better chances, more than enough to win, and had a late appeal for a penalty turned down by the video assistant referee at Old Trafford. United's new goalkeeper Andre Onana clattered into substitute Sasa Kalajcic in coming for a cross but referee Simon Hooper waved play on and VR agreed, much to the ire of O'Neill, who got a yellow card for his protests. It was a battle, and we had to figure out a way to prevail. We knew we would have to play well to win because Wolves are a strong squad, Ten Hag told Sky Sports. We can be more composed and considerably more alert. We lost the ball very easily, especially by our front players. But we'll get better. The United camp will be quite worried with how they were outplayed in numerous aspects of the game. Alejandro Garnacho, a young Argentinian flank, saw a lot of the ball, but his final product was subpar and lessened the impact of numerous United attacks. Wolves, by contrast, passed the ball around with confidence and opened up the United defense on several occasions although a mixture of poor finishing and some fine stops from Onana kept them scoreless. Pablo Sarabia and Mateus Cunha fired wide for the visitors after lightning breaks, while the best chance of the opening half for United fell to Frenchman Verne, but he could not get a clean connection on his header. Ten Hag replaced centre-back Lisandro Martinez, who had been booked, at halftime, opting for Victor Lindelof off the bench rather than Harry Maguire, 
a clear indicator of where the England defender is in the pecking order at Old Trafford. Upset is the word, Cunha told the BBC. We worked a lot. We need to keep improving. We mixed new ideas and old ideas. I'm a little upset with that result. Regarding the late spot kick appeal, the forward added, it's a very hard decision. For me it's a penalty but you need to respect the decision.